Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat 69! What? <laughs> Little Z. Um, when I said earlier we need to prepare for episode 69, this is episode 68, man. This is not. I'm lying down. <laughs> Um, not for a 69. <laughs> yeah, this is episode 68. Special guest. Uh, special guest? <laughs> special guest is Peter special Peter's, Peter's, Peter's apology. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm really sorry about this. Zach has misled me. I have made a severe and continuous lapse in judgment by yelling 69 in episode 68. You could have just convinced me that you just really wanted to yell 69 at that moment. Are you sure this is 68? <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, it sounds about right. Fuck. I so just, let us know what we should do next week for episode 69. Our best 69 stories. Go on. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> no, next week. It's next week. Oh, okay. Well, what episode week. is this, Zach? Well, I better ask Maddie so I can get some. Okay. What? There's okay. a bit of homework this... for next week, boys. <laughs> Up top. Who's going to tell Jordan? Uh, uh, I'll show him. Okay. Well, Jordan, you know Jordan. He's got enough. That will be a good story next week. Guess what Jordan and I did <laughs> in celebration of episode 69. Yeah. You, you know Jordan's got it. Pop it one, more like slop it one. Thanks, Zach. Um, all right, so sh- if you're still no. on the fence... <laughs> <laughs> that should be our new tagline. Yeah. If you're on the fence... Every time we say something around. unhinged, we have to just be like, hmm, if you're not sure, just give it a minute. It'll get better. It's like a tightrope walker walking along the fence, like, uh, for this podcast. I started oh. doing that. I, like, the hairdresser will be like, oh, how much off the top? Because I usually get a fade, and then yep. they'll be like, how much off the top? And I'm like, whatever you reckon, Whatever you mate. think, yeah. And then he's like, oh, yeah, going to cut, like, half a centimetre, so he has to pay more money in a <laughs> month. <laughs> I've been doing that for years, and it's actually not really been working out for me, honestly. Oh? I've been doing that forever, honestly. Just like, oh, whatever you think. And the last guy I got it from gave me the worst haircut of my life. And I was like, yeah, this your is hair the looked worst. like wig, man. Yeah, my hair looked like Wait, wig. Wait, which haircut? Uh, <laughs> I I desperately used like I he basically like did it and then he styled it and then I left and then I did everything in my power to mess it up and change it from yeah. that point because it looked so bad. So I feel like your oh, hair's- do you have a photo. I would love to see a comparison. No, I didn't take a photo. I hate it. Why would I take a photo of it the day I got it when I hate it so much? It's good oh, to have just like, like, do not give me this. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> This is what you did last time. Be better. Do, yeah, be better. Or showing it's someone like, else. I hope, you've Im- I hope you've made some changes in your life since I last came in. <laughs> well, it was my because first- this was fucking dreadful. I'm giving you a second chance. <laughs> but just so you know, if you fuck this one up, there won't be a third chance. <laughs> and it's the same lady. I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> yes. So... I went to this place. It was just like, because I'd moved house. It was a new place I'd been to. Yeah. And oh, that's it was such an, a strange experience going to this this barber or yeah. hairstylist or whatever he was. Because it was just one bloke who owned a shop. And then I, I was looking at his Google reviews and it was making me laugh because he was clapping back at people in the Google reviews. Oh, what'd you go there for? <laughs> because it was funny. And I was like, man, this guy's got some pizzazz. I like it. Because <laughs> people were like, People were like, he did this, he did this, I didn't like this. And they replied being like, you never did this. You were the rudest person I've ever seen. It was just really funny because wow. everyone in Google reviews is like, hi, thanks for your feedback. Yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah. sorry you had this. This guy was just like, no, fuck you. Yeah. And I was like, man, I kind of like that vibe. I like well, it no a little gonna, bit, but not too much. No well, one's going to change their one star review. Like say someone gives a shit review. No one's going to change it if you give like a, I'm so sorry reply. But clearly he's made you go there because you were like, this guy's clapping back. So he's got funny. the better strategy. That's I obviously crazy. didn't work out now that you know I didn't well, get a haircut. that's what I'm saying. I think you did make the wrong decision. Yeah, but like, what? It's like an- <laughs> all the reviews sucked and Peter's and like, Peter's like, this guy's got pizzazz. No, like 90- 90% of the reviews were good. <laughs> Why is my haircut bad, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, it's not what happened. <laughs> Peter leaves a five-star review. Terrible haircut, but he had pizzazz. <laughs> five, five stars. Awful haircut, but if I put one star, he's going to be really mean to me. <laughs> He writes, thanks for your feedback. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> awesome. No, but then I, I get there and there's one dude and, uh, you know, it's the classic, like, you don't make a booking, you just walk in. If he's got a spot, you take him, like, whatever. And so he sits me down and then in front of me, he's like maybe like a 50, 60-year-old bloke. Is he, what what um, ethnicity I think is Italian, he? like some old school. Why does that matter? And he's, it does, big time. Dude, yeah. Turkish barbers are a different breed, oh, you know what I mean? Turkish like, is the best. And uh, what's the other one that I really like? If you want one quick, go to a Turkish barber. Yeah, you know Middle Eastern, I mean? Turkish. Boom. Those guys guys are the best, always. You anyway, reckon? sorry. Anyway. Yeah, Italian always gives you too much of an old school haircut. That's exactly what happened. What? How does he know? Uh, I'm oh, telling you. Was it like expert. a bit slicked back? 
Like it was a bit like of like a I, I could put on a leather jacket and star in Greece. Was kind of there level. sports oh, yeah. memorabilia on the wall? But it's like sports you've never heard. I'm of. getting there. I'm getting <laughs> there. <laughs> so Did they offer you a beer. He he sits me down in the chair, and in front of me is just an iPad that's like it's like an iPad one. It's pretty ancient looking, brilliant, and it's kind of mounted on the thing. And on it is just a photo slideshow just going through. And I'm like, okay. Yep. And it's all just like really overly sexualized girls in bikinis. But like That's the, the photos. That's the slideshow? Yeah, the, the, all of them. And I it's thought just, it was going to be a slideshow of different haircuts. No. To choose it's, from. It's, <laughs> and, and it's all in the style of like 2000s kind of pinup, which is like. Playboy bit, sort of it's, era. It's the kind of, yeah, Playboy sort of, where like the kind of thing that would have got sent around in the email chain between like. A bunch of fucking these our dads, are, uh, our dads, <laughs> mates. You know, email, like before you'd Google it, it's like, bro, look at this email. When you Google bikini in two yeah, thousands, when you're like figuring out how to use a computer, yeah, that's yes. exactly. And that, it, it was all this vibe, and it was just He's like, all right, I'm done. Uh, let me take off the cloak. You're like, oh, wait a few more minutes, please. <laughs> just so, so me and this like 50, 60 year old bloke are just sitting there with this slideshow straight in front of me, and it's like oh. for your viewing pleasure while I give you a hick, and I'm like, this is so fucking weird. Surely. I think old guys would come in and go, look at that one. He'd go, that, that's, yeah, that's no, one of my favorites. That's exactly what, and then they'd get the old school haircut that the guy would get and they're like, oh, it looks like me 30 years. I fucking love it, mate. I wonder <laughs> at what age of a kid sitting down does he turn the iPad off? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? At what age are you like, all right, son, you're 13, iPad goes I, on. You get the you iPad. You get the iPad. We'll just have another bowl cut, thanks. <laughs> oh, isn't he uh, 14 now? <laughs> it's time for the iPad. Yeah, I cannot imagine mums bringing kids in. That's oh, he like, was so weird. Yeah, I wonder what age. Anyway, well, go on. What was uh, it that's about that's, it. And that's then he gave, about the size and of And that it. was about the extent of it. And the, you're right, the haircut looked like I was like... 60. Yeah, Italians, they just like the, they like the, what's it called? Traditional like classic. haircuts. Yeah. Yeah, and I really hated it. I've gone there once, but I just got the, like the two on top and the rest around. Mm. And it, look, it looked good, but like that, if that's what you want, that's where you go. Yeah. If you want the fades, you go to the Turkish place. Do you have any mm. more recommendations on ethnicities? I need to make it, I need to get a haircut sometimes though. Um, I can usually just tell by the photos. Okay, Ooh. so like what they're like poster boards on the front is? Yeah, just look at the photos of the people that they um, post on the... Well, if it's like I a, like using their Instagrams to look and just look at their Instagrams. It's like, that's the kind of style. You it's like a, a guy with super dark features and like a really crisp fade and yeah. you're like, okay, I that's know what some, I'm getting here. That's some sick mm. shit. Yeah. So What's your dream advice? haircut, Peter? I think I want something... A mohawk. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want something that kind of plays into having longer hair but makes it look good because it's really hard to have long hair that looks good when you don't have facial hair. Mullet. Sure. And because also if you don't want to spend a lot of time doing it, I feel like. Yeah, so one. it's it's like, yeah, but for the mullet, you also need to kind of have the moustache to yeah. complete the look. 100%. And so I was Googling like long hair, men's yep. haircut, like in celebrities, because that's what people tend to base if they take a photo in. Chamolet, Timothy. Yeah, I guess so. He's got like sort of your Your hair is quite curly. If you straightened it, you could get like a oh, Jared Leto I'm look. Not See, this is what I mean. That. You're just not going to do any of the effort. And he, but he also has like a soul tough. patch and stuff. They always have the facial hair. Oh, well. Timothy so, doesn't, I don't think. And uh, Harry Styles when he had long hair. But uh, those those guys always go with the quite effeminate look. That's like the long hair, no facial hair. always. For? I, I don't know. I, I think it might be impossible. I think I'm fucked. Why don't you like short hair? I just can't be fucked getting cut all the time. And then it gets bad and then you have to get it cut again. And it's just Fair. whatever. Yeah, the shortest, I'm having like the, my hair is the shortest ever at the moment, but it's like a month before I need another haircut. Yeah. Uh, anyone in the comment, <sighs> leave me a comment of a, of a celebrity that you think I should get my haircut based off. Take a photo in. I think that's a good yeah, point. I'm using a... the podcast audience. It's like my, <laughs> my fashion squad, you know? No, that's perfect. Yeah. I think you should go to one of those places um, and just say like, what do you think I should do? Oh, but I've been burned. Yeah, but you have to just commit. Nah, I need to go to somewhere Turkish I trust. You need to, that's why I'm asking you for places. I can send you the. You're in. Uh, uh, still? Yeah, yeah. There's a good just one in Clamor. Like you right, got to right, like. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I meant to say Nick. Yeah. Anyway, there's one there that's quite good. Um, All right, I've we'll, been to a few times. All right, we we'll saw that in our own time. Yeah. Sorry. That's why I realized I was like. Joking. <laughs> We're on the Perth haircut recommendation segment of the podcast that's gone on for a really long time. I was actually thinking, though, last thing on the haircuts, that if you dyed your hair black, I don't know why I was thinking like, oh, Peter could dye his hair black. And then I just like looked at you and I think you'd look a lot like white Michael Jackson. (laughs) (laughs) Really? I'm not trying to be like bullying, but I just think your face is like that if you have black hair. That's really funny. Yeah, Ben's drag. 
Because you're a little like pale as well. I mean, so so I'm fucking not. I'm not being mean. We all are. Yeah, I think the my problem might be my light feet. I'd have to dye my eyebrows as well, and that would look oh. pretty strange. <laughs> Imagine if Peter just oh, rocked up much? wearing one glove. Like, <laughs> man, how many eyebrows? patrons do we need to get this happening? Yeah, I want to uh, see the that. Hot cat Michael Jackson makeover. If Christian I shave Bale. my eyebrows, I would actually be so fucking ugly. Alien, Everyone alien would level, be, right? But mine are like such a feature too. Mm. Does the Mona Lisa have eyebrows? Shit. No, I, I feel like think. women don't need eyebrows as much as men need eyebrows. That's kind of no. Sexist. Women shave them off and then draw them on. They need. They want them more. Mm. You know well, the, the thing is, like, on ones. Yeah, but mm. I think that's after you've abused them so much, you might as well just start from scratch. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'm not sure anyone really sets out trying to do that. Do they? People get them tattooed on. That shit's crazy. Should we move on to the Jackson question of the week? Yes. All right. Let me let me play the new intro and just yell over the top of it's the Jackson question of the week. Yeah. Right. I'll bring that back. Oh, my God. The Mona Lisa doesn't really have eyebrows. Not at all. Oh, no, because that's that. I think no. that's intentional because the Mona Lisa is, like, famous because you can't tell what expression she's pulling. It's, like, what's behind that face, you know? Isn't it, like, where she's looking as well is very, like, yeah. kind of, she can see. It's, it's like, very ambiguous. And maybe the eyebrows, like, if she had big... High eyebrows or so angry really surprised. Yeah, like angry eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should try. We should draw on the Mona Lisa eyebrows and be like, "What's the expression?" Is that the most famous painting of all time? Probably. Yeah. The probably in a year. Um, do you want the existential one or the artistic question? There's two questions. Uh, we'll start with artistic. Ooh. Is anything artistically, objectively artistic, objectively good? My videos. Checkmate. Gotcha. Especially solved. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Especially the lemon one. Is that what you're yeah, going to say? You yeah, yeah. I was going to. was going to do a bit of advertising. That, one that was a very good video, Zach. I think it might be your best thoughts. Thank you. Uh, I think it was very good too. I sold lemonade on a desert road, and the video is underperforming. So if you haven't seen, it's it, underperforming. Go and see it. Yeah, because it's like it's very it, different. No, nah, but it hits my subscribers first. So it's got really fucking good like watch time percentage. Yeah. But YouTube's like little blurb that it gives you on videos is like regular viewers aren't watching as long. I'm like, I know it's not Smash Bros. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah like yep. show it to someone else because apparently the people that do watch like it. You're anyway, like, it'll probably spike. Email later. to YouTube. Let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> well, like videos like that will never really perform that well day one. But then yeah. like as they sometimes like a week or two in, it'll just start like going up. Well, like, so I'm hoping that a bit for recently that. as well. Actually, they've been both been tens on release, and, and then, then they picked, picked up. up. Yeah, I really derailed this. Uh, no, thing about seriously. Uh, my most recent video, my f I, I did fifty thing tears the kingdom players never say. Yep. started as a seven, and it's now a four. So it's the same Ooh, effect it where finds it's like the, uh, alternate audience. And my uh, TF2 one started as a ten by a uh, so much. <laughs> yep, and then it became a two. So you know, yeah, like yeah. they'll get there. So um, uh, both both videos, Peter, that I would say are, are objectively artistically good. No, oh, thanks. Zach. To bring it back. So yeah, that was kind of my. I would not say it's objectively good. I think that you can definitely dislike things about. Is it. every my artistic videos. creation subjective? <clears throat> I think that mm. some things are objectively good. It's Case a spectrum. in point. Uh, uh, yep. Coldplay. Is what? Who doesn't like Coldplay? Oh, I, was, I don't really like Coldplay. No, that but much. they're pretty good though. <laughs> Not rough, not for me. Okay, I, Fuck, sorry. I, I'm going with a different <laughs> argument to Peter. I'm also saying some things can objectively be good, but only very like technical skill stuff, like classical music, like maybe uh, certain jazz songs. No, I'm allowed to dislike like classical. No, but like, I think it can be more obje <laughs> objectively. By trying to prove your point, you're both proving my point. Yeah. Wait, so you dislike all classical music? No, I don't, but I think you're allowed to dislike it. Yeah, you're allowed to dislike it, but I think it can be objectively like... Uh, like, there's certain chord progressions that are like really satisfying to listen that's to. That's what I think about Coldplay. Mm. Well, I agree with you about The Coldplay. guitars in yellow are so like perfectly crafted to like... How do you make a guitar sound heartbreaking and make it perfect? Oh. See, I like, yeah, like, I, 
And it's like, what the fuck? But then I'm sure like I could find something that I feel that way about and you guys wouldn't find that. Yeah. Good. Bro, me, okay. Just on this cold play thing, because me, um, Peter and Sophie were over the other night and we were talking about it. And Sophie was talking about how she uh, got tickets to the cold play. Yeah, that's concert. why it's on the brain. They're coming to Perth. So. Oh, sick. And then I said like, ah, oh, like me and Maddie and um, w- Maddie's mum, we were going to try and get tickets to go see cold play as well. Mm-hmm. And then Peter was like, yeah, I, I don't know. Like I just wasn't that keen for it. So like Peter didn't get tickets. And then I was like, that's what you think, Peter. Then they start playing yellow. Then they play the scientist. Then they have Viva La Vida yeah. comes on. And then Fogo you to fix you. Oh, and like <laughs> clocks. Like fix you, I like. Matt, when they're, they're like. Doo, 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 yeah, Zach's doo, giving me the whole play by play. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I should have I should have got tickets. Wait, so you didn't get tickets? <laughs> nah, Sophie's going with her dad, which I think is really uh, nice. That's nice. And now Peter's like the only objectively good artist is Coldplay. I didn't say the only. I think you have a lot of mass appeal just, as well as being yeah, good. Yeah, because that's like I was thinking about. I was going the other way with this in my head. Okay, go. Like a lot of people say Big Bang Theory is bad, but then a lot of people must like Big Bang Theory. Yeah, but that's objectively bad. Is it though? To people- take away the laugh track, and w- have you seen the clips yeah, of the yeah, laugh yeah. track? Then it, it, watch that and tell me it's have objectively you seen good. The clips with Ricky Gervais is the laugh track. No, <laughs> that is good. I'll have to watch that. That sounds funny. I think things can be objectively bad. Yeah, like what? Easier. No, sorry. No. Oh, things right. can be objectively good more than they can be objectively bad. Okay. For instance, Coldplay. Like, <laughs> no, things that are really like shit, yep. like even worse than the Big Bang Theory, you're still going to have a decent proportion of people like that are really dedicated, like cult followings. Yeah, so if, if one person likes it, can you even say it's it's bad, objectively? No, that's uh, that's why I think it's... um. No, people can be wrong. Very hard to be objectively bad. If you you could say this about like things in history, you can be wrong about an opinion though. You can say things about history that are considered wrong. Yeah, that's not art. Uh, I guess. But okay, okay, sure. Um, what about because uh, do you have many cult unfollowings? Like yeah, cult let's, haters. Let's take a show like Breaking Bad that is quite universally respected yeah. as a very good TV show. Yeah. Is there like a cult following of people that are like just? You know, like the sort of high school, like going against the grain just for the sake of it. Oh, and contrarians. Like, this yeah. Happened. Here's one, Marvel. I feel like it was universally loved for a while there. And now I feel like it's got a few haters. And now people will say like all of the Marvel movies are bad. Which I don't think it used to be really be a thing that See, people said. you're not so much in the sphere of the like an r- original Marvel movies. Yeah. But they used to be good and now they're bad. Oh yeah, I'm sad. That's what I'm people will flip their entire opinion. They'll be like, when will people realise they were never they good? They were never and good. And it's like, shut the fuck well, up. Then you're just- but that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no. I know you I disagree like, yeah. with them, but that's like, a, I think, an example of a cult unfollowing probably. I, I think oh, we, I see. I think we need to popularise, I know it's already a popular term, but calling people contrarians as an insult because <laughs> if so, so many people do this and they're just it. like, if something's popular, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna dislike it. Yeah. To prove that I'm interesting. Yeah. And that's being a contrarian. And so many people do this with so many things, and it's so annoying. It doesn't work for everything, though. Yeah. Like, what? like well, gay rights are pretty popular, but no one's like a <laughs> well, contrarian for the sake. Art versus. That's why I was saying with history, there are things that are objectively. Yeah. That's why I think Jackson was specified art. Like yeah. you won't get cancelled over thinking Marvel movies are bad, but if you think that like. Uh, every country should have nukes or like, oh, yeah. what's like, you know, just other really bad things. shouldn't have gay rights. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to use the same example. We love myself. getting political on the pod. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we get there. We're talking about art and we got to politics. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a One way ticket. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought that was an interesting... So what's the answer? Uh, I, I guess technically... No. Uh, no, but I think In my yes. opinion, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, think- no, but objectively, object- subjectively, yes. yes, objectively, no. Yeah. My answer will be in the form of a quote, and you can quote me on this. Brilliant. Coldplay. Art is... <laughs> oh. it, art is harder to be objectively good than to be objectively bad. Art. No, 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 it's... <laughs> it's easier this to be a art is, is, art wait, is. Wait, wait, wait. You start wait, with the start wait, again. No, okay. this is all still the um, quote. This is, this is <laughs> yeah. Put this whole thing in quotation marks. Uh, quote me. This is. This is. Uh, that is. Quote um, me on this. Oh, um, uh, um. It's harder to be objectively bad than to be <laughs> object. No, it's harder to be. Obje- <laughs> It's harder to be. Quotes? It's harder to be objectively bad than to be objectively good. Final answer. Can someone put the hit Zach's entire quote in? without me and Jackson interrupting in the comments? <laughs> <laughs> there, please. Yeah. With all the ums and ahs and, 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 and so ums. Please do that. Can you we'll run pin, that by me one more time? Just we'll the, pin the comment. I'll, I'll put it on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's our merch. Our first merch is Zach's quote. What was it? Sorry? 
Art is easier to be objectively good than objectively bad. Easier to be objectively good than object. Well, I don't think you can be objectively good. But I'm saying it's easier. You can be closer. You can get oh, closer. closer. It's all a spectrum, but you can you can get closer to a peak with things being good. Like I just I think maybe we don't know about things that are objective uh, closer to objectively bad as much because they're just not at all popular. There are some things like there are some things that are so fucking dreadful that yeah. nobody wants. It's like no something with seen. one view on YouTube because it's the person who uploaded it because it's so fucking yeah, bad. Yeah, that's what I mean. And we just don't even see that it's, stuff. And then like even even if the person who made it came back five years later and was like, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, who's saying it's good? Yeah. Yeah. Like, who? who is the supporter? Whereas... No, there's, there, I reckon there's always a few supporters. If you I have, think if you you have probably zero just supporters, I reckon you're bias objectively Because you're bad. not seeing any of the stuff that's got zero views or one yep. view or whatever. I, I, think, I think you might be right, but I think, I think some things should be seen as universally good, but then if people don't have the cultural background to appreciate it, they won't be able to. Yeah. Yes, that's true. So, like, something could be the, the, the best thing ever made of its craft... And so it should be objectively good, but it can't be because not everyone has the same experience to get there. Wow. Yeah, like you can make the best movie of all time and Jordan would be like, mm, I'm not much of a movie guy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not real, so what's the point? Yeah, yeah. Jordan's got, she's got right. sci-fi in Man, it. Jordan has ruined... I only like non-fiction. Where was Jordan for this question? Yeah. We should ask him next week. No, we do not need Jordan for this question. <laughs> um, jo- Jordan's what? opinion on art? No offence, probably I value the least out of... The underdogs. Oh, easily. Yeah, I don't. Jordan think... doesn't watch half of his own videos. Yeah, and he puts Put them out. <laughs> Jordan, um, the the quote that stood out to me the most is when we asked who had the best music taste, and he said himself, "Of course, I have the best music yeah. taste. Yeah, I think it's the best." Now, that's actually a reasonably fair and point. But like, he's great just wrong. Take. It was like a oh. Okay. Well, I guess so, but no. <laughs> the fact that not all of us put up ourselves because we actually have enough, like... It's really funny. Objectivity to take a step back. Oh, it made me laugh. Good on Jordan. Fuck. If, if, no, if, you, if anyone in the audience didn't know the definition of subjective and objective today, I'm holy to give fuck, a quick you, one. you have done some learning. I can quote... Uh, yeah, you let, you guys. Zach, let Zach define it. <laughs> no, Sub- no, 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 Zach quotes. Subjective is based on people's opinions, yep. whereas objective is based on... Everyone's opinions, isn't it? Fact? So I like, think so like is sub- just, yeah. subjective is like one person's, but yep. objective is yeah, it's like fact, but fact irrefutable. Maybe fact. maybe has been caused by lots of people really liking it, and then it's become fact. So is um, what's it called? Evolution objectively correct? Oh god, you know, because not everyone agrees with that. Whew, I think it's subjective nothing in to science even, is objectively correct. To be fair, I think wow. it's subjective to even assume evolution is real. We've Check got mate. crazy here today. Should we go guys? to the existential question while we're at we it? We already got there, so we might as well. We we've been, we've been working our way there. Do you think you're going to do everything you want to do in your life, or are you going to run out of time? I'm going to run out of time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to die. Same. Yeah. But but can anyone? Y- yeah. I think if we stopped scrolling on our phones, we could. No. Oh, phone burn. Phone burn. Hey, anyone listening to this on your phone? You just got roasted. You just got burned. Maybe though. Um, I think that uh, you oh, kind of what get to money? the point on your deathbed mm. where you're like, yeah, I guess I did everything I want because what else, oh, what other option do you have? Be sad? Well, no, bucket lists exist. It's a bit of a cope, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that people have bucket lists means that like clearly they didn't do everything they wanted before they died. And then like, what about someone Shit. that's in a car crash and dies before they get to a ripe old age to have a bucket list? It's like you know, it's not like you crash into a truck and then you pull out your notepad and you're like quickly writing a bucket list, like yeah, before you die. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> oh, your times. penis really yeah. loud. <laughs> penis. Oh, okay, I did it. What's the next time? All right, right, where's Margot Robbie? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> call her. How do I bungee jump out of this car? But even even then, like uh, your bucket list is. Or also realistic as yeah, well. Yeah, it has to be. Like, you can't say, like, a land on Mars. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you might want to do that, but you're not going to achieve that in, if you're, like, already 60. So has anyone in the history done everything they wanted to do, do you think? I'm sure they would have convinced themselves. Do you think anyone... But not really. But they might have been lying to them. I mean, life is just a giant cope, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> depressing. Do you think anyone's ever used their bucket list to get with a celebrity? Yeah, unsuccessfully. Yeah, I don't think that would no, work. No, successfully. Oh. I'm saying, do you think someone's done it successfully? Would that work for you? Um, you're the celebrity. I'm not call myself a celebrity. No, but let's in this let's case, say you're... a single celebrity. Yeah, you're a single me... celebrity. And someone comes up to you, they're like, Zach, I'm going to die. I've got cancer. Um, 
And you're if the I last was thing single, on my list. maybe yeah. Well, they they wouldn't have to have a bucket list. I'd just do it. Brilliant. Yeah, just if, just so if, if anyone came up to me and said, "Hey, I want to," I'd be like, "All right." I'm talking about right. Oh, get, really? Yeah, dude. Why not? No, no standards for you. No, no, nothing. Brilliant. Okay, get get Die, this. Girl, oh, animal. Sixty-nine, anyone? <laughs> someone. Next is, episode, though. Someone's been given six months to live, yeah. and they have on their bucket list like, "I want to fuck." Let's use Margot Robbie because Peter said it before. Uh huh. And then they go to her and ask her, and she's like, "Yes." Yeah. And the, the celebrity single. I'm saying, do you think this has ever happened? It could even. It could be a much lower I, celebrity. I reckon. For, I think it's happened. I reckon it probably yeah. has. It has to have. Like the, it's like the Make a Wish Foundation, except for adults. I don't think if you went to make a list, and make s- a hot wish. Yeah, if you said to make a wish, like, oh, my wish is to fuck Margot Robbie. They're like, <laughs> I don't think they'll be. <laughs> they're on- like, we can get you in the same room, and then it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> we got her on speed dial. This happens all the time. We, don't we, worry. We, yeah, we can organize a meet and greet, but that, you that's know. about all we can do. <laughs> well, oh, if it would boy. work for you, like you would do that, provided you're single, then I think it must have worked. In I think it must have worked. I'm way more. Of like a shitter celebrity than you Margaret are. You're a celebrity though. to some people. Though. You are literally more famous than some people we would call celebrities, oh, especially like, uh, like Australian celebrities. Australia, yeah, like I don't oh, know, someone yeah. on some reality Husey. show or something. Yeah, no, Husey's <laughs> no, might be I don't more think famous. you're more famous Husey's than Husey. Big. But like you know, Do you guys people- know Husey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone outside of Australia, Dave Hughes. I think he is actually popular for being so Australian in yeah. other oh, places. He? I think he might, and because he's like the most Australian comedian in the world. Can you guys do Jim a good Jeffries? Im- can oh, you guys do a good I just impression? I don't like Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries very Australian. Do you get a good Dave Hughes impression? What, what's saw, something um, you would say? I saw. I don't actually a know. YouTube know what do a good I saw impression. my Sheila, and she was like. Ah! Like it's not it's not How's that COVID? Had to go wear a mask at all the shops, couldn't buy my sausage there's, rolls. There's no way he talks like that he every does. day. No, but in the it, when he's not on camera, there's uh, no yeah. way he goes home and he's like, Hey doll, how was work? I think like, you'd be surprised. No way. <laughs> I reckon you'd be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh at all. Steve for dinner. We've had daddy all night this week. All right, should we show him how close you guys are? Yeah, yeah okay, okay, guys. Me, I believe, but life isn't always fair, is it? It's not fair. It's we not are consistent. so close. Like one year ago, Australian surfer Mick Fanning punched a shark in the face. <laughs> <laughs> we are so we are, accurate. We are pretty on. You guys were pretty close. Punched a shark in the face. <laughs> it's the really loud, oh, and, high-pitched and Australian. Letting every sound sit for a long time in the <laughs> accent. It's just like, <laughs> Mick Fanning. <laughs> face. Face. It's like nobody talks like. There's, you can't tell me he's, he talks like that to his mates at the pub. Uh, uh, Oh, he's most of the place. I think that's, he does. That's the oh, actually, maybe that is the one place. That's he the does one it. place he that's probably where he's Peter, I think that's how his voice got so loud and like <laughs> high pitched, like over the bar music. Yeah, he's got a pint in one hand. He's fucking blind junk. Punch the shark in the face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slurps the dart. <laughs> Oh god! Dude, Classic he's, what a legend, dude! Do you reckon he's achieved everything he wanted in life? Uh, he, he has to be close. Yeah, he's he's up there. Are celebrities closer to that? Or no? no. That's a that's a fake. Do you reckon the celebrity um the celebrity things that they want to achieve just get like harder and harder? Yeah, I was listening to an interview with Rain Wilson of Dwight from The Office, yep. and he was talking about how when he was an actor, he's like, oh, I just want to be on a TV show, and then instantly after he'd been cast in the office he was like oh, I just want to be in a movie yeah, yeah it's well. like it just never ends I was watching uh, a video about Ryan Higger from yeah. oh, whoa from yeah. YouTube yeah Back from YouTube yeah wow oh, he... I thought you were saying whoa because Peter was about to say the channel name yeah no I refrained <laughs> what's the channel name it's, Peter was it like, sounds like the N word oh I remember that he now. changed it to Ryan it's Higger something Higger yeah. Yeah. yeah which is you know you know classic 2010 YouTube anyway. I remember that How now. to be ninja? Oh, yeah. Before it's time. Well, Man, maybe I watched. I watched one of those for like the throwback because I was like, I remember this being really funny, and just it's just a different time. Did he do the Justin Bieber parody? It sounds very f- about the time. I think I rewatched that recently, and I was surprised that it actually held up. No, was that not my Johnny? Nah, oh, oh maybe it was. I I forced Zach to watch my Johnny as the throwback, and it, it, I think it holds up, but uh, it's questionable. Oh. Anyway, I was watching it and he was just saying how burnt out he got with his success and stuff and it's just like not satisfying. Oh, it still has the old channel name, but the daily life of Rustin Heber. Do you remember this video? No. Oh, I used to watch this all the time. 
Well, I'll check it That's out. That's very old YouTube ass. Very, very But yeah, old. you were saying how it, it, it's not satisfying and stuff and it's just like... Uh, Everything's more. You always want something more and then he was saying he peaked too early and then he had nothing to do in life because he became oh, successful shit. at a yeah. young age and then it's like, okay, where do we go from here? Because every direction is down. YouTube's like that. Like when it gives you the number of views you got, it's always relative to you. Like yeah. you can't... It, I wish sometimes that it said you got more views than 99.9% .9 of YouTubers yeah. this month yeah. because that would be so much more rewarding. It's what OnlyFans does. Does it? It's like, I'm in the top 1% of OnlyFans Yeah, so creators. that makes more sense oh, to me. What, if the, what about the people that are in the bottom 1%? No, but they, they, they you can climb they don't so exist. much easier as well, right? Because oh, if you like make an account that, yep. and then just oh. like drop it, okay, that's probably most of the accounts. Yeah. And there's so, so everyone's in the top 20 at least. Yeah. There, do you guys have a first name, last name YouTube account? Do I have that, one? That you've made at some no, point? That I was don't. just like... See, I made one for an assignment at university. I think I have one too. I had to make a fake movie trailer for a Greek myth, so I made a trailer for The Labyrinth. Yep. It's, it's, sure. It's still up, but it's like it's like when you make the YouTube channel that's like just like a personal one. It's yep. like because I had um here with deformities and little Zubat at the time, yeah. and I was like, uh, I won't submit the uni under that. I'll make Zach Trahan yeah, with yeah, like yeah. a new email. Good call. So um, my I have that still left over. <coughs> Mine is the when we have to remix, like you do it in a new form. So I did the, um, what's it called? Unit outline as a video instead. Yeah. And that's still up there. So, so yeah. like if, if YouTube did give you the statistic, yeah. you would be so up there. Yeah. Like if you had 1000 subs, you'd be so up there. That's what I mean. There. I just think that would be so much more rewarding than just like, oh, like that's a 10 out of 10. You're like, oh, it's well, not a good video. That's By the, the way, guys, 10 out of 10 means really bad on oh, yeah. YouTube if you... For anyone that doesn't know, 1 out of 10 means it's your best video of the last 10. 10 out of 10 means it's the worst of the last 10. Yeah, so it's a bad... And that, well, that's it's it's a whole thing about capitalism, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want to get too political again, but, you know, people say that capitalism is based off infinite growth, which is impossible. Yeah. So the system is inherently flawed. Yeah. And so is this YouTube thing where it's just like mm. every... If, if every video is a 1 out of 10, you're going to... It's infinite growth. You can't... It's not... It, real it's not possible so it's, it's actually impossible sadness. yeah and like some people might have like mr beast probably gets a one out of ten most times but that is not gonna happen forever is it no like it's it's it can't he's on a hot streak you you can be like you can have a string of but the more one out of ten you get in a row the more disappointment you're gonna get after the more it. You're, just, it is. you're just storing it up for later and it's gonna wow. happen it is gonna happen that like it's it's just not realistic by the way, guys, I did look up if you search Zach Trahan, The Labyrinth. Yeah, someone said uh, they found it. <laughs> Plan 1001 Digital Project comes up from nine years ago. We got 175 views. Let's Damn. try to get it to 1,000. Uh, but it's it's really bad, this trailer. But did let's you try like, anyway. Just like cut things out of other stuff? Yeah, mostly out of a movie called The Minotaur, which was about The Labyrinth. Oh, good call. Brilliant. But then it's like... It's kind of stupid because they say, like, make a movie trailer that explains the myth... And I personally hate when movie trailers give away too much of the plot. Yeah. But that was exactly this assignment. So I'll do these like titles that come up in between each thing. And it's like, instead of like this summer, yeah. it's like one detective or anything. The title that pops up is like the Minotaur searched for hours. And then the next it's one like is like the screen direction. Yeah. It's like the next <laughs> one is like Athena's dad was very unhappy with her. Like, yeah. and then the next is just like, that's really explaining funny. Explaining the entire story through like eight title cards. So instead of a, a, a trailer, it was more like a summary. Yeah, dressed pretty up as a trailer. Pretty much was the entire story. The um, it, Cliff Notes. You guys use that? Oh, that yeah. was a classic. Cliff Notes. Shouts to Cliff Notes. If anyone wants to hear more about the labyrinth, the Greek myth, that's your one-stop shop. Without watching it. <laughs> there you go. And then, oh my God, I'm going to put these people on blast. I don't care. This other group, I might have shown you guys this already. This other group in the class for their assignment did a parody of Who Let the Dogs Out Brilliant. about Pandora's box <laughs> called <laughs> Who Let the Evils Out. You and have shown me that. I I've really, yeah. seen that too. Oh my God. I wonder if I could find it, guys. I might be able to play it through the speaker here. God, these people are catching a stray for absolutely no reason. Yeah, what did they do to you, dude? They made a bad parody. Zach's yeah. like, I'm the master of parodies. His it's is objectively out. good. They got 2,000 views. Ooh. Wait, how's this? So it's better than yours. How is theirs 13 years ago, but mine was nine years ago? Maybe this was an example they gave oh, to you. Oh, it was an example. It was like- That's one of why the... it has so many views, because they've just shown it to every class yeah. ever since. It was one of the good examples too. It was like, uh, 
be like these guys and then I watched it I was like I fucking hope I'm never like this do you reckon any of your assignments are in the don't or do be like these guys oh that's probably crazy do. not to think about okay yeah. this is a <laughs> this is a little teaser of who let the evils out guys. I actually got a 19 out of 20 on uh, something on creative writing let's go and that, and that was a broadening unit you might be shown yeah what the fuck he turned out of it evil <laughs> I'll describe the video to you guys. I can't so believe that's a good example. It's people wearing togas, kind of like waving their arms around in someone's backyard with a crappy quality camera. They're all holding Stella beers. They look, uh, they look like bogans. I think wearing you singlets. Me this um, yeah, because it's so funny. <laughs> oh, wait. And the titles are like Movie Maker. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. We need a, wait, just a second of the verse. We won't get claimed for this. We stole that fire for mankind. Prometheus. 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 Who stole, Who stole fire the fire from oh, mankind? Prometheus. Prometheus. Oh my god. That's actually brilliant. a fucking great what? parody for this assignment. Unit is that? Greek uh, pathology broadening. It actually. Have we, have we told you about broadening units before? Yeah, UWA. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, I went to UWA. Oh, really? I don't remember that. Not for long. Yeah, I don't remember seeing you yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, it's um. You got to do units outside of your field, basically stuff that you're not interested in. Yeah, I did um, African drumming. I did percussion ensemble. Yeah. Let's go. I did, I think, three units of percussion ensemble. Yeah. Did I ever tell you guys about the first unit I did in percussion ensemble? I think you have told me. It's really funny. Go on. You should, you should it's tell like a, story. a um, percussion is like a one double o one. And then it goes into like 1002. So, so I did anyone who doesn't know what that means, it means that it's like the very baseline unit. Like, yeah. Yeah. What, like people say like, you know, that's something 101. That was, it's the first unit you can possibly do for it. Yeah, very, like you needed zero experience. I had about 11 years of experience yep. in percussion. Yep. So I went to this class and they went around the room. It was like, oh, tell us a little something about yourself. Maybe an interesting fact and like any experience you've got with percussion. So I said like, oh, I used to like, I think I said something very vague saying like I had a drum kit when I was little or something, but like definitely didn't make it out. Well, like you I didn't want to get exposed. I wanted to just fly under the radar yep. and get a really fucking easy credit. Yep. Um, and then as like the class went on, uh, it was, it was, it's quite hard to pretend that I'm like really bad at it. I'm like, Oh wow. I learned this marimba piece like pretty quickly. Cause it was like super easy. Yeah. Uh, and then, so <laughs> by the end, it was like, oh yeah, I was like, people thought that like I was kind of good, like I had a bit of experience. Bit of suspicions going around the but room, but still a beginner. Yeah. Then we had one double o two, and my old percussion teacher was teaching the class. <laughs> <laughs> and he came to me. We did a similar like introduction thing, and he was like, oh Zach, like how you going? Like I didn't know you'd be doing a class like this because it's so like <laughs> shit, like for beginners. And uh, and then everyone else in the class, because it was a lot of the same people doing yep. like the unit one and then unit two. Yep. <laughs> and a lot of people were just like, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you like, doing, dude? This guy's a freaking pro. And then the teacher was giving me like sp specifically really hard parts because he was like, oh, that'd be way too easy for you. Like, we'll give you the solo. Yeah. <laughs> It's <laughs> like really crazy marimba parts and then he knew I could do them. So like I would do them and then everyone else in the class that thought I was a beginner was just like, who the fuck is this guy? I'm like just getting exposed. <laughs> it was like that when I saw great. he was our teacher, I was like, Oy! they didn't kick you out. No, no I, it's like you it, could still do it. I enrolled in Japanese it. and got kicked out. For being what? too good. Yeah. Wow. Percussion but ensemble like, was different. Yeah, because they had like the records of my school. So I think in like mm. week four, they called me and they were like, you can't do this unit. I think they- All right, you've probably already got the credit for yeah, it yeah, through I doing do. school. Because I was like, oh, this would be perfect. I don't have to go to class. Yeah. But as it turns out. Yeah, nobody liked broadening units, just for the record. Everyone just tried to do the easiest them. one possible because like, it was a waste of time. They did appreciate the me being good, I think. That's Because then it meant that we could play some like harder songs. Fun funniest thing about it, I think- was that in percussion unit one, there was a guy that like had played some drums before and he was like really one of those people that just has to let you know. Yep. So like we went around the circle and he was like, yeah, I actually like play the kit, play drum kit and yep. it was like acting all cool. And it was like, oh, like cool. We'll like put you on for the song. We'll put you on drum kit. He was so bad. Yeah. And I just, I was like playing the other parts and I just had to cringe over like him playing drum kit. Then we did a new piece and I was like, 
oh, like, I think I can, like, play the drum kit, like I might remember from yeah, like, like when I was 10. He's like, oh, I might, oh, it's, it's a symbol. Yeah. Oh, that one's loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fucking, what is it, Garth from Wayne's World where he does a big solo that he's yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. like to play. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, Yeah, and then I was way better than him. So that was... That in the first unit was the thing that sort of made me start wanting to try because I was just like, I can't with this guy. On the, the drum kit's very important to keep everyone in line and he was not doing a good... Oh, so he was one. sort of the... The driving force. And everyone would play marimba over the top. Is that right? Uh, oh, lots of different instruments. The oh. shit people would just have a triangle. I, I played... Oh. In, in my percussion ensemble, I did bongos for one of the pieces and timpani for the other one. I didn't so. do percussion. I'm pretty sure I did African It drumming. sounds different. Yeah. No, no, yours was different. I didn't do you get like a class. djembe between the legs and uh, yeah, start slapping Yeah, I went it? once and never went again. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. Why? I was bad at uni. Just you, uh, you would like that. if didn't it, uh, I wish I could go to uni now. I would appreciate it so much more. Oh, yeah, I of course. Love learning Everyone says that. But it's not how I was. That's, That's why mature age students are such a pain in the ass. Yeah, because they're like... Because they want to be there and you're like, what the fuck? You're can you just cringe. let us drink, dude? Yeah, yeah, bro. Can you just like not ask questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better not so be coming annoying. to Mexicana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this guy's ancient. He's like 30. And yeah, yeah. he's like fucking trying to act like he's 18. What I remember having a 25-year-old. I was like, what is this dude doing here, bro? <laughs> I might go back to percussion ensemble now. Yeah, you'd love it. <laughs> 30 year old mature age student that's when I would say in the first class I've done 12 years of drumming I'd love to go to a tape class for something I'm actually interested in yeah but it's kind of just expensive we should and do a filmmaking on one together YouTube yeah we should that would be good you guys should do that uh, I just have been to too many like beginner filmmaker things oh, it's so frustrating dude, starting from the start of something for the 50th time is so annoying it's not even that it's more people that like you say with the drum kit, think they're the best oh. and they're just bossing everyone around. I'm like, you yeah. really, I don't know a lot about filmmaking at all, but I know it's more than you. Because it's uh, an art, like drama. Yeah. Um, people think they're a fucking triple threat yeah. plus writer, director. <laughs> Dude, this guy was like, I'm an actor, writer, director. And then he shows this movie and I was like, this is objectively the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. And Things can be objectively bad. They just need to be from students. <laughs> like, that, yeah. Oh. Or objectively good, like who let the evils out? Yeah. <laughs> Prometheus, <laughs> whatever that was. Prometheus. Uh, can I get, uh, so Diamond DJ in the chat from our Patreon right Let's now go. says, I hate uni. I wish I could enjoy learning. If I can get real with you right now. Let's go. Please take a gap year. Mm. Like I am begging you. I hate uni, quit. You're what are you like, doing there? So don't, because if you hate what you're doing now, you're going to hate it way more when it's your job. Yeah. You know yeah, what I no mean? No one really thinks they're like, oh, once I'm through uni, it'll finally be like, no, no, now that's your job all the time. Yeah. Quit. And you don't get to like see your friends there. Yeah. And you don't get to fuck around and I you don't get to I play sport earlier. and all that. Like take a gap year, work like a job that's really fucking hard. Yep. And then be like, do I, did I hate uni? Or was that actually pretty all right? Because you, like, if you go straight from school <laughs> into uni, you have no perspective. And yeah. I had no perspective and I was shit at uni. Yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. But like, it's like, just do something else for a bit. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know if you're in America or Australia, but either way, college or uni is very fucking expensive. Yeah. So that's, I, I suppose, the downside to taking a gap year. Defer if he's enrolled. Yeah, just take, yeah, defer. And yeah, no, defer. Tap it on a pause. But yeah, do, do work, do, do the shittest job you can find. Literally and go then, and work at freaking McDonald's and you, uni will sound like a dream. Yeah. Or it doesn't even have to be anywhere that's like known as an entry-level job. You could work at a, like a hotel, you yeah, could be any, a waiter, anything. anything. And oh my. if you love it, yeah, great. Brilliant. You know, then do that. Don't, yeah. don't fucking bother with uni. Yeah. Oh, uni. And if you hate it, then go to uni. So yeah. many life win mistakes win. I could change. Yeah. Guys, I want to ask something because I think there's a conspiracy going down at McDonald's. Okay. Well, um, Which, you know, you're... Reminded me of when you said McDonald's. Is it safe to talk about the podcast? Uh, I think it's safe. All right. Uh, Are you sure that they're not going to calling them out? You're calling McDonald's out. Yeah, they're going to fucking hamburg or kidnap me. Yeah. (laughs) Grimace is going to eat you. You see his post on Twitter or was it Instagram? No. He he took over the account. Oh, shit. It's Grimace now, it said. It's Grimace now. People still care about those guys. I was very funny. Made me laugh. Um, So I went through McDonald's and I got some food, whatever. I got a meal. The car in front of me, I hear the lady at the window say like, oh, we just made like way too many Sundays. Do you want a chocolate Sunday for free? And he was like, sure. He got a chocolate Sunday. I was the car behind him. You I thought, was like overheard that. I was like, oh, let's go. Sunday time. 
drove up to the window. I was way more nice than I would usually be at McDonald's. I was like, hey, like, how you going? She like gave me my food. I'm hey, like, what oh. day is it? Sunday? Oh, oh. Wednesday. Close. <laughs> gave me like my quarter pounder meal. And I was like, oh, thanks so much. Yeah, you have a great night. And then she was like, yeah, you too. And I'm like, anything else? <laughs> anything else you got for me? Just staying at the window. Yeah, and then, you know, like, drove off because I didn't want to sit there awkwardly waiting for her to give me a Sunday. But what's the deal with that? I and heard the, her say that they had multiple Sundays. Zach's looking at his rearview mirror. The person behind him also gets a Sunday. Yeah. He's like, I didn't see that. I should have gone in, like, the waiting bay with, like, a long lens now, for <laughs> photography. What car was in front of you? What do you mean? If they saw your Tesla, you can just buy your own Sunday piece. True <laughs> that. Oh. <laughs> They're like, this yeah, that's what I mean. Consp- it. It's still a conspiracy. Um, I- I'm thinking, it's right? like... Well, it's you. Yeah, I guess. Was was this? <laughs> was this code for a drug deal? Oh, oh! I would like a free Sunday, please. Yeah, and it's just like any extra Sunday today, <laughs> yeah. and it's just like lots of stock today. That will be one hundred dollars, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> they're passing out. It's like a front. You know how? Yeah. I'll have the Tic Tac McFlurry, please. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Strange flavor, but here's your McFlurry with all those wink, wink, tic tacs yeah, in it. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a front at the bottom of there. There's a little bag at the bottom of that Sunday for sure. Oh, I was just saying the tic tacs are like. I wouldn't really want my drugs mixed in with ice cream because they might melt or something. Just, uh, yeah, true. Yeah, the um, drugs will melt. <laughs> the ice cream will melt too. <laughs> yeah, but they, they might dissolve. Yeah, and they have to eat the ice cream. I don't know. It depends. I, I don't know much about drugs. Hi, mum. Uh, What's a drug? Good save. <laughs> Good save. <laughs> oh, Diamond DJ is clapping back at you. My Studying to become a high hard. school teacher. So that's what Jordan's doing, kind of. But I'm deciding if I switch to primary school, I want to get a placement to get an idea if I... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, try and get some real life experience is the best you can do, but... My friend was doing teaching and he did his first placement after the first day. The teacher was like, you don't really want to be here, do you? And he was like, wow. you're not wrong. And then he quit. Yeah. Holy shit. And now he's an accountant. I thought te- I, th- I thought Not teaching everyone. was pretty high for a percentage of like people that really do like their job. Yeah, because nah. I think you have to do so many placements to get there. I don't no, think but like the everyone, stragglers get the there. burnout is crazy. Yeah, that's teachers. definitely so true. many people oh, do it for like of three kids. years. Yeah, and because it requires so much of your effort. Like, it's not the kind of thing where you can just check in, check out. You know what I mean? It's, it's definitely the placements stupid. as well, right? Make it not like that. What? No, like, pay them more for doing the homework, like, and setting up classes at home. Or, like, you're going to have the problem we have now where we need so many teachers. I don't know if you know that. No. We're, like, we're very dry on teachers. Mm-hmm. Like, I have a couple friends um, that do teaching, and there's this app being a substitute teacher, you can just like open the app every day. There's like a thousand subs substitute, substitute teachers, teachers get paid needed. a lot more too, don't they? Because but it's like the sucks. reason they need so many subs is because they don't even have like enough d- teachers. enough teachers. Yeah. So then there's like a thousand different schools and different classes you can pick from, and you just go like, "Yep, I'll go there today." And it's like unlimited it's, job yeah. opportunities every day. The demand is crazy, and you can just choose when you want to work. All or these not. jobs is so like that's sad. Yeah, but like it's like it's so much to ask from someone. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's like why, why when you can just do a job and half ass it and get, get the same pay more. Yeah, but you, that's what just pay teachers more. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But there are so many. I don't know. There's, and the problem is that there's so many drop kicks who become teachers now. Yeah, like you you hope that they're gonna be stand up examples of individuals, but they're not all. Yeah, no, and like they're meant not. to be a role model and stuff. And I'm not like putting any teachers on blast, but everyone's had a bad teacher. Mm. And he was like, was I, was I a naughty kid? Was I just being shit? No, there were some teachers that were objectively pretty bad. Man, how good is a good teacher? It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Man, Imagine if every teacher, teachers. like everyone has an example of a standout teacher in their yeah. mind, right? Where they're like, man, I loved, let's say, chemistry when I had this person. Yeah. Imagine if every teacher was like that. I was extremely blessed to go to a very good school. A lot of the teachers were very good. That's good. But I, could, I remember being in um, public school and it's like, it's literally a roll of the dice. Yeah. And you're stuck with them for the year when you're a kid. Dude, you remember freaking... Oh, Mr. I don't want to put Mr. them by Bleep. name. <laughs> we, we had someone for Japanese and then maths. And oh, yeah. they Awful. were just the worst. Like, yeah. a waste of time. I shouldn't even rock up to that class. Yeah, I literally nothing. just hate kids. Yeah. Well, they didn't hate kids. They had just no skill, communication mm-hmm. ability, no control of the class. So here's what I suggest. <laughs> Pay teachers a lot more and make there some like hard tests. You know how you got to pass the bar to well, be a like lawyer, a or you got to. I think this is what's gotta happening go now. School. You have to do so many placements now, whereas you did not used to have to. Yeah, but have they increased the pay, or is it just no, more no, no? Placements? It's just harder to become a teacher. But like, yeah, think about so a, a doctor goes through so many years of training. It's, yeah. it's respected. It's high paying. Yeah. You don't get a doctor being like, oh, I don't know if they really know what they're talking about. 
I've had doctor side though. Oh, yeah. I do actually. Really? Okay. The well, GPs. Let, let's talk about like specialists, surgeons. Oh, 100 but I think most doctors are pretty good. Yeah. I'm sure there are some bad ones. It's oh just my ones God. that are like lazy, I guess. GPs actually just got the nuts when COVID happened. <laughs> you go there for anything. First thing, it's like, oh, probably COVID. And then it's like, no, I know it's not COVID. Can you like, can you just consider it might be something else right now? And they're like, my prostate, fuck's sake. (laughs) And they're like, "Mm, I could just slap a COVID on it and tell you to go home. Yeah, it's rest up for a week. Yeah, like, oh, it's, and then. um, Had like a chest infection recently and it's still like, first thing is like COVID. Yeah. So then, and that's what they they said to Maddie. Yeah. Um, She did like a phone consultation. So then when I went into the actual doctors, Maddie looked up like, the exact symptoms of like what we thought we had and the exact symptoms of COVID. And she was like, mention these ones first. Because yeah. like we did have some symptoms of COVID. But if you go in there and be like, oh, I got a bit of a cough. They're like, go in. Yeah, yeah, sore throat. They're like, see you later. So you got to have that like at the end. Yeah. It's, yeah, COVID. Oh, well. And Remember you got to start by being like, so wet. My, my cough so just runny. I'm oh, so wet. You know how it's a dry cough? I coughed COVID? up a liter of phlegm this morning. Yes. Yeah, just like, oh, it's, it's, it's just running everywhere. like a leaky yeah. faucet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my nose will not stop dripping. It's, it's more like a hose than a drip. <laughs> 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 you like put all this water in your mouth and just start like <laughs> around the doctor's office. Oh god! A wet cough. A wet cough. My cough. Ooh, it's gonna is be dripping. It's got to be sloppy, or they'll, they'll tell you it's COVID. And you gotta, sloppy you gotta really cough. like compliment their deodorant too. You're oh. like, is that a new cologne? And because it's like you can't smell with COVID. You have to really pick up anything. <laughs> did you, did, yeah, you really gotta try. A, there's a bakery like three blocks down. Yeah, I yeah. can smell a donut from here. Yo, this actually could be a stand-up bit for me. If only I thought of it like during the pandemic. Dude, we, we were talking about stand-up bits the other day. Yeah, just any like, good ones? When you have a great thought and you're like, man, this this is so relatable and nobody's pointed it out yeah. before. And so yeah, but then this is the one. The example Peter gave me- <laughs> Yeah, Zach didn't like it. Was very anti-dog. It and wasn't. I was like- You took it the wrong way. Oh, well, it was like, it was about us like breeding dogs to be pets and like how it's a bit fucked up, right? No. So I, I'm butchering it. No. But- Give yeah, well, me I, at no point said it was fucked up. I actually, I was appreciating dogs more in this moment. Uh, what's the overview of it? I, I don't want. I don't want to because it's not that. formulated. Okay. But, but I, the idea was is that like we've bred dogs to just be the funniest little guy possible. Yeah, true. Like we like having a dog that's a funny little guy. Yeah, and every different breed of dog is just a different version of a funnier little guy. And that <laughs> that's the idea behind it. It's this like is funny. I looked at a French bulldog and yeah. I was just like, why is it like that? Yeah. It's not, and it's just because it's the funniest little guy and the way they run and all that. I like the term funniest little guy. Yeah, like. that's what I thought. And yeah. uh, Zach kind of took it as me being like, man, we fucked pugs' faces, which is also my opinion. No, it's... um, Yeah, you just got to make sure it's very clearly a joke. Yeah, which I didn't really... I think do. I knew that that was your opinion yeah. behind it. But then also, because it's not like you had written stand-up or anything, you were just like, oh, this is like a concept I had and did a bit of improv. Yeah, I spitballed the idea. Then it didn't go down well. I was like... As a dog lover, it came off a little bit like you were shitting on dogs, and that is just for like ninety percent of people. Not, yeah, it's going to be a bit abrasive. My ideas are for myself now until I've formulated them properly. Yeah, that's a good call. Because Whereas shitting on COVID, that's free. That's easy. Well, yeah, I relatable. think people are kind of sick of COVID content. At least, oh no, I that's am. why I said like if I had that idea like yeah. two years ago, I would be. Well, there was no stand up then. Oh shit! Yeah, I suppose sit down in the Zoom meeting comedy. Yeah, like the Zoom comedy things. You could have done some of that. How about that COVID? <laughs> Went to the doctor and the a cough. I know it wasn't COVID. I've done a negative rat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, can oh, we end the pod? <laughs> it's worse with the headphones <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh, so I needed a wet COVID test. It's like, oh, God. Do a wet cough. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect me to do? Oh, Put got, a beer in my mouth. Long enough? <laughs> When we do the full Dave Hughes stand-up imp- yeah. impression about COVID, that's maybe when the podcast is uh, run its course for today. I gotta say, I um, Ooh, last I, thoughts. I did a. Uh, it's actually checking the time. Uh, oh, okay. I realized that you know the thing with keeping your thoughts to yourself with your ideas. Yeah. Sophie is just the toughest crowd I'll ever have. Yeah. And I have to. I have to remember this. Right. Because I'll run an idea past her, and she goes, uh, "Okay." Oh, it's the worst. And I'm like, can you just be... I know that you don't think I it's the best idea. I would never tell anything, honestly. Because it's not formulated yet. Of course, it's not a fucking ripper. Yeah. But surely you see the potential here. Yeah. It's like... Oh, what we were talking about before. What? Um, of like harsh critics. Yeah. I can't... Gotta have your critics. 
I can't remember what it relates to back before, but Jackson, do you, does um does Brooke find your stuff really funny? Like when you're mm. explaining it to her, not when you uh, show her a video. Sometimes, or is it like doesn't I like translate? To, I, do, I don't tell her until I've developed it now. Yeah, though. but sometimes you want a little bit of like feedback, right? Nah, I used to, but I think if you're good at your job, you'll figure that out. Maybe well, I I have a bit of a similar thing to Peter, where I think like one of the people that seems to find me the least funny on like a service level is Maddie. Cause I'll be like, Oh, I thought of this like funny line for a script or like funny idea. Yeah. And I'll tell her. And because one, she feels like comfortable being completely honest. Mm. So if she doesn't really That's get the joke, the she'll just thing, right? Yeah. I think yeah. they might be sick of our shit but as then well. It, yeah. It's too like might get sick of You've heard my three years of humor. how long have you been together? So just like jokes. Sh- shut the fuck up about the YouTube script or like the yeah, rap yeah. lyric or whatever. Yeah. I kind of just don't talk about work like that with Brooke anymore. We me and Zach have been uh, spitballing <laughs> ideas for like, like meme rap songs. Yeah. And we've been coming out with some, and I have these ideas and I'm like, this is a good basis for a song. And it's literally a singular thought yep. that you could expand on. Yeah. That it's like, this is a funny concept and yep. I reckon I can build on oh, that. So I have friends that I do that with. Yeah. And yep. I've realized that I can't do that with Sophie. Yeah. yeah that's She's fine. just like, if, oh, okay. If you don't have anything already expanded. It's yeah. Like, it's the worst. It sounds like the worst. Some people also don't have that brain. Like Zach obviously would. Yeah. I say do. to Zach, I think our default response is like, Oh yeah, it's your and then from there you because think- we've done it, it's like yes and it's improv. Yeah. Whereas Sophie's like no, you know like, it's not no, but it's like okay. It's like, well, it's okay. like if it's not funny at the time, yeah. I feel like she might have less vision of because like I'll think of an idea and I have done this hundreds of times. Yeah, I'll flesh that out into a full video. Yeah, so I know where the idea is leading. But if that isn't your full time job, yeah, then it's like I just think that oh, doesn't have this- means nothing to you. Like some of the songs I find funny. There's this one by an Australian guy and it's a whole song about like ordering a big breakfast and like regretting <laughs> how big it is and yeah. how it makes you feel sick when yeah. it's like hung over. It's like a full two and a half minute song. If I said like, oh, I got this idea for a song, Maddie. Like it's about big breakfasts. Yeah. And then I'm like, I think it would be really funny to like do a whole <laughs> song about this. She'd be like, that sounds so bad. He's like, and the eggs and the bacon. <laughs> She's like, yeah. what? But well, I think it's a bit like that. I exactly, I had the exact same thing. I was like, okay, so for, for like meme music, there's not a lot of Australian people doing it. So I can kind of lean into this angle and think about things that are unique to Australians. Yep. Cause that, that's always a good thing to do if you're thinking of a comedy thing yep. is like Find something an unique audience. to you. Yep. And I was like, I think it's funny that Australians are pretty much the only language, or not language, the only accent with a C word pass because it sounds kind of normal, where if any other English speaking country says it, it sounds really harsh. England? I think that there's nah, a really nasty. England's got uh, a little bit of a pass, actually. A little bit, but Australians is like the Australian peak. is definitely the most. Yeah. And so I was like, this is funny. I could make a meme song about that and like play on words and dance around the point. And like talk about like I wouldn't actually be dropping it until yeah. maybe the very end or something. And I was like, this is a potential for a funny song. And Sophie was like, oh, I guess so. It sounds a bit crude. And I was like, fuck. Don't stop Damn it. stop telling oh, your ideas. You know, you can deserve be like, your ideas, Peter. Yeah, I think you're so. like went to the park, gave the footy a punt. Unfortunately, there were some kids there being little Yeah. Have and you, then you're like being little children. <laughs> you know, you, to say something and else. Then the, the chorus would be something along like, you know, seeing you next Tuesday or something. You know, playing or dancing around Have it. Have you seen the, the Tim Minchin song, Ginger? Yeah, that's oh, amazing. Cursed. Yeah, that's pretty One much One of the my same favorite vibes. comedy songs. It's called Prejudice, if you want to look it up. Prejudice. Prejudice. Um, you kind of actually ruined the entire joke. No, that's fine. Like just saying saying I thought it was name. called Ginger. It is called Ginger. No, it's called no, Prejudice. No, but the, there's like a minute and a half build up where you don't know it's about. Oh, really? That's the whole joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I, I, I listened to it maybe twice. It's good. Anyway. I think you're still going to like it. But that thing yeah. is, it's like- <laughs> Look out Prejudice by Tim Minchin. I think the best, the, some of the best jokes and comedy things that I listen to are where you take one thing and then really deep dive it. Beat it to death. Yeah. But then when you try to describe that to someone else without actually doing it, it's so bad. I find that with comedy in general, it's just, you can't explain it. Yeah. See, most people can't. I think if you have a, a comedic mind- All right, I might be saving it for the pod. Sorry, yeah. Sophie, you're demoted. Ooh, I'm talking to the boys first. Peter's ideas factory. I think it's just like we- naturally we're like, oh, that idea is good. What if we did this? Whereas that's not how Sophie's brain works. She doesn't have to do that for a job. True. You know who does that well? Um, the Lonely Island. Yeah. Because I, I watched one of the movies. They did They did a movie before Popstar and it's called Hot Rod. Okay. I've and seen Andy that. Samberg. Yeah, he plays like a wannabe daredevil stuntman. And there's a lot of physical comedy because he's not very good at it. So there's a lot of crashing and, yep. you know, stuff like that. Um, pretty funny, but I was thinking about it with the objective art thing as well. Here we go. Because I 
saw like a, a YouTube video about that. And I was like, I didn't know that movie existed. Like I like the lonely Island. We should watch that. And then as I was like searching what platform to watch the movie on, saw like an IMDB thing of like 30%. And it made me be like, Ooh, like, do I want to watch that? Yeah. But then like, I'd already said like, it sounds good to Maddie. I was like, Oh fuck it. Like, and then it's just like all physical comedy. There's not that much plot, but still quite a funny movie. Yep. Yeah. Definitely didn't like regret it, but it's just interesting how movie reviews are so like not representative of what your experience mm-hmm. might be. Yeah. Like reviews can- are so, I mean, it's because a viewer and a critic have a different job. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, people don't even think about that. It's They're so worried dumb. about the objective, the objectivity of it almost. Yeah. And also if you're watching movies every day, as your job, you're probably going to have a different opinion on the movie you see opposed to one a week or one a month. Yeah, and also everyone's got different opinions. Like, I like... Have you watched the Phantom Menace documentary? No. I actually have. Did. Let's go. Did. And last oh, week... Almost. Last week, I brought it up. That's oh, a good way to round out go. the pod. Yep. Um, didn't like it that much. Sorry. <laughs> End the pod. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you actually not? That's uh, crazy. I, I think I so gave funny. it a two and a half out of five. Oh, that's not that bad. It's just like, yeah, it wasn't... It was just like, felt like a bit all over the place. That's why I liked it, I think. I think Zach didn't like how fly on the wall it was, what he was saying last week. That's why I just found that so interesting. Like it literally, how all over the place the documentary was is how it felt to make that movie, I felt like. Yeah, I think if the documentary itself had a bit more of a story, Mm. but it was just a lot of like clips of behind the scenes, which sort of told a story in themselves, but the overarching... The overarching story to me was, look at the mess of this movie. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for delivering on your Zomas. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm just waiting till I get sick so I can watch it. Okay, so next promise. time I think I'll watch it. Yeah, dude, that's watch that's a promise. <laughs> I think I think I'm in general pretty good at separating like my viewing experience, but like I can really enjoy a movie and then be like, yeah, that was a bad movie. Oh uh, sure, but like what quickly example of one of each? Oh, a lot of action movies. Yeah, like like so, some of the recent. I have seen a lot of the recent Marvel movies and enjoyed them. But I can like you don't think that see good. that they're like yeah yep. that they're flawed. And what well, about I'm the like, other oh, way this was like a really shit thing to do to like that like that character arc was terrible yeah. or like that villain was just a hollow shell yeah, that of made nothing. no sense. Yeah. Or- yeah, but what's the other way around? Um, we didn't enjoy of movies that are really good, that good, but I might not I like, didn't like it. American Psycho. Oh, interesting. I, like I, that. I that's on my watch list, and it has been for a long time. <laughs> um, I don't really know, but there's like some things that you know, get really good reviews and then like, I'll eventually like watch the them and I'm like, or something. I'm like, am I just being like persuaded by people saying it's good or did I actually really oh, like that? I used to feel like I was so victim to that. I don't feel like that anymore. Especially like now that I, well, like I've, I've watched video essays from a lot for a long time <laughs> yeah. on like the old video movies essay, and then this movie's a masterpiece and you're watching you're like, this is the best movie I've ever seen. You don't even <laughs> know if you've like even enjoying it or what, like if you think it's good. Part I of wish- the Sh- Sh- uh, propaganda. I'm the anti Shafrillas gang. <laughs> oh really? I, I'm no, not really anti. I just think people just listen to him say it's good and like, oh, that's right. It is good. So that's I wish people- Anthony Fantano on time, music. That's time. the worst. I wish people didn't rate the stuff they reviewed, which is such a like, wild opinion on the surface because like everyone loves rankings I don't, I think like reviews, tier lists yeah, I don't and think numbers out of five like doing that necessarily I think you kind of just have to do that you do yeah, have you need to a summary. Then, like I learn a lot from video essays about like the way things I might have missed about like the way characters are written or the, the way the story goes yeah, yeah. yeah and I'm like and it's I feel like helped me a lot in my videos yep. now that I've done a few more like scripted storytelling things yeah. but then you know when you put a ranking on it it's just like you don't want to be like, oh, oh, it's good. Yeah. This guy said it was good, so it's good. But yeah. like, if this guy pointed out a whole lot of things, then like I drew my own conclusions on how much I liked it. Yeah. But then in the back of my mind, it's like, well, Shafrilla's going for the four and a half. <laughs> so I'm going to lock this shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's, I think people use the term, it's reductive, right? Yeah. It reduces it to one number yeah. out of 10 when like it's mm-hmm. a whole thing. But I think that, the reviewers don't like that about. Oh, they just they have like, to do it though. They're like, oh, I don't want, I don't want my whole review to be remembered as an eight out of ten. 
Oh, you do. Yeah, you do. You, have you to, want people to actually like, yeah, like listen into to it. what I've actually yeah. said. I think a, a YouTuber I like, Fudge, who is a quite small YouTuber, he does. He has good opinions about games, in my opinion, sure. video games and video game design. Yeah. He has a whole series where he never once in the video mentions if a game is good or bad. Yeah. He never says anything is good or bad during the whole review. He yep. just talks about the, the game. game. Oh wow. <laughs> and he, he the series is called like the world's worst review of blank because yep. he's like, I'm not going to tell you if it's good or bad. I'm just going to review it. Have you and, watched? Oh, sorry, God. You know, no, that's all. That's I was going to say, Donkey's video on video game reviews is like one of the best video essays of all time. I don't think I have. I, maybe I've seen. It. I don't remember it too well. So good. Anyway, all right, I'll we can probably end it. We've been going for ages. Serious homework we? for the viewers. We've got. Yeah, we've talked about a lot of stuff you might not have seen. Prejudice. Uh, yep, by Tim Minchin. The Phantom Menace documentary. Uh, um, we need you to look for some haircuts for me. Yes. Um, what else have we got? There's a lot of homework. We got to write down the homework for the viewers. Uh, you got to quote Zach's quote. Oh, oh, we yeah. need that. The best graphic design wins a lemon. Actually, maybe just write it down and then I'll put on a shirt. <laughs> That'd so be a good, good. shirt. <laughs> Who would wear that? That could, fuck be, our out that that could be our first underdog <laughs> merch. It's just so <laughs> much text. Print's so yeah. small. <laughs> what does your shirt say? <laughs> I wish it was about a. What if it was an all over print where it's just <laughs> the entire you thing? You gotta spin someone around <laughs> to look at it. I wish it was about a more like general topic. Art is. Art is. <laughs> Um, um, it, I, <laughs> something's objectively no way. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. we'll end the pod. Uh, leave the stream on Zach. I want to talk to the chat messages, but thanks very much for watching on YouTube or listening on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. We'll Peace. be reading out some Apple star reviews next time. Maybe. Love you.